Want to stop wasting hours trying to figure out make? Well, stick around because I'm going to show you five powerful automation shortcuts that'll take you from a total beginner to an automation pro fast. Make.com is one of the most powerful automation platforms out there, but let's be real. It can be pretty overwhelming when you're just getting started. I remember spending hours, if not days, stuck on simple tasks, trying to figure out how to make things work. If I would have known about these five shortcuts back then, I would have saved so much time. And that's exactly why I'm sharing them with you so you can skip the struggle and start building smart automations without the headaches. By the end of this tutorial, you're going to have the exact tools and tips you need to build practically any automation you can think of in Make. First, if you haven't signed up for Make already, just click the link in the description below and you can sign up for free. It takes a few seconds. You can do so with Google. And if you click my link, you actually get one month free on the pro plan. So the first shortcut for learning how to build automations much faster with Make is to use their template library. It's actually crazy how few people talk about this or even know it exists. So after you log into Make, simply click on templates from the left hand side. And here they have templates for literally hundreds of use cases. Now you can actually search by app if you wanted. So say for example, you had high level, then it'll show you all the connections with high level. Or if you wanted to integrate something with Gmail, you could type that and you'll see that or you can even type keywords. But you can also see by what's the most popular downloads and that kind of gives you an indicator for some of the most popular automations. So what makes this template system awesome is not only does it do the build blueprint for you and I'll show you what that means, but it actually walks you through it step by step. So let's say you want this one very simply send a Gmail email from a new Google Sheets row. And so if you clicked on that, it's a very simple two module blueprint. It tells you exactly what it is and you can go guide it set up and then it's going to walk you through exactly what you need to do step by step. I'll give you another example. Here's an awesome one. And in this one, you turn your WordPress blogs into social posts using chat GPT. And so you can see, and it's just going to walk you through this step by step. So all you need to do is start guided setup and then walk through each of these steps step by step. And it's already done the whole architecture and the flow for you. So that alone is a really quick way to start. And you can get a lot of basic blueprints that every business should use. And what's great is these templates are completely free. So the second shortcut to learn and build automations way faster with Make is to use their built in AI. So whenever you start a new Make scenario, you'll see AI in the corner. And this AI is pretty damn awesome. So it can do so many things as you can see some examples here, but you could also literally just tell it what you want. So let's say you're like, I want to create an automation where I add emails to a spreadsheet and then send an email to each of the email addresses when they're added. I want the emails to be written automatically with AI. Very simple scenario. And really you could say anything here that you want to build. And then once you hit that, it's going to start working on your blueprint. And while it's doing that, you'll see that there's even other prompts it gives you. Like you could say, what templates are there with X app and X Y app and you know, more prompt examples. You can show like build scenarios. So it's kind of giving you some ideas around the types of prompts that you can give it. And so I encourage you to explore that. And so you see that there and boom, just like that, it just built out this entire blueprint for us. And now not only does it build it for us, you can actually get help here, right? So it's telling you next step, set up connections before runs here, ensure you create the necessary connections and this and that, right? And you can say, if you need further assistance or want to map the modules, feel free to ask. You can say, okay, map the modules, or you can ask questions about how do I do this or how do I do that? and so on and so forth. Now, one thing I'll say is that it really doesn't get it always 100% perfect, but it's a really good starting point to play with. Like, not sure why it added this email field here. Maybe it made an assumption that I wanted to start with that instead of just Google Sheets, but you get the idea. It, it's pretty good and it's still in beta, but it's still pretty impressive that it can build this for you. Now, also, if you ever get stuck, I'll show you a little trick here. You can actually ask it what to do. Like, let's say you don't know how to fill this in. Let's say you're like this. You could just screenshot this literally. You can go here. You can go to that screenshot and you can say, let's say you didn't know what do I enter in the content type field here. 
like let's say you didn't know what you're supposed to do right in this case where you're like hey i don't know what to do in this option let's say and it tells you what you should do and it explains it to you so you can get so far with just this ai you can even ask it like questions like what kind of module should i use to do x or y and then i'll tell you that use case if you want to know hey is there a module that can do something like this or what do you suggest you can really talk to it like an assistant and it's pretty good at helping you build whatever you want. Now, the third tip to build automations faster in make.com is to use a secondary AI agent to get even more help. And this shortcut works really well with the second shortcut, which is using makes built-in AI. So let's say you use something like ChatGPT, which is free, or you could use Perplexity or Claude or whatever you like, and you can just ask it the exact same thing you asked the AI agent in make. So I wanna create an automation, as you you said, how do I build this in make.com? Give me step-by-step -step instructions. And so it will then give you step-by-step -step instructions as you see here. And what's interesting is it'll actually give you some of the steps that make.com may have assumed that you already know. For example, it's telling you to create the Google sheet and it's telling you what to name it and it's telling you which fields you need. And make.com's AI wasn't as explicit about that. You could have asked it for more step-by-step -step instructions and it might have given you some more. But basically the point is, when you combine this AI with this AI, you're going to get a really, really well-rounded picture of how to build this thing. And when you get stuck, you now have two AI agents to ask, which can help you unblock things because sometimes you might not get the right answer from one of them because these AIs are still to a degree experimental. You can see it says beta. So just the more help you can get in real time, it's so handy and that's what's gonna help unblock you because here's the challenge with automation. Everyone's build is custom. So if you don't have a way to get one-on-one -on -one help exactly for your scenario, you could be spending hours Googling and reading forums and stuff for unrelated scenarios. And here you can ask ChatGPT or make very, very specific questions about your exact scenario and the challenges you're facing or what you're trying to do. And also with ChatGPT, you can also upload screenshots. And one other cool feature is you can use the voice feature here and you can even talk to it about your automation to get some ideas if you wanna bring storm what's possible now just like make.com it does have limitations so you know always you want to understand that it's not going to be perfect but it's definitely good enough to unblock you i've used it several times when i was getting started and even once in a while i still use it now and it can really help you figure out a problem quickly now the fourth shortcut that will help you automate faster and make is to find expert creators blueprints import them and then study them so one of the coolest features in Make is you can actually export and import blueprints. So for example, you see I have a blank scenario here, but if I got someone's blueprint, then I could actually import that in and their entire build would be brought up right away. So I've got the JSON file and boom, you can see here, this is my 100% automated AI avatar social videos blueprint. And so if you can get some of these blueprints, then you can shortcut your learnings a lot faster because you can see how this person has set this up exactly. And sometimes experts even post their entire blueprint with a step-by-step -step instruction video like you're seeing here on YouTube with my blueprint going over the exact one I'm talking about. So with both the blueprint and the step-by-step -step video, you're gonna really learn how to use this particular blueprint, but you're also gonna learn how make works. And each module here in this blueprint probably took the creator an enormous amount of time to create. I know creating this one did with a ton of trial and error, and you're skipping all of that and just getting the final elegant solution. So if you can find creators blueprints, then that's really going to be a game changer for you. And of course you can go on YouTube and just type something like that. And you will see a ton of creators, including myself, who make content 
about the topic that you're looking for. And sometimes they give you their blueprints like I do. So the fifth shortcut to help you build automations faster with make is to hire a make.com automation expert. Sometimes the smartest thing you can do is to just get help instead of wasting days or even weeks trying to figure out how to do something in make. I see this all the time. And usually when clients come to me, I end up helping with one of these two things. First, they know what their goals or their objectives are, but they don't actually know what to build to make it happen. In other words, what are the exact tools and modules and workflows to make this an efficient and effective strategy? Because the challenge with custom automations is that because you can build anything, it's also possible to build something in a way that's really bloated and inefficient and even expensive if you're using way too many tools or tools that cost more than another tool, which is more efficient and cheaper. And so one of the biggest things is to just know what's the most effective and current way to build something in a way that keeps your costs low and keeps the complexity down. Because the more components you add, of course, the automation is more complicated. And if something does break, it becomes harder to fix. So all that to say, sometimes the best thing to do is to just get even an hour of help just to figure out what to build. And then you can either go off and use tips one through four to try and build it yourself, or you can actually hire that same expert to help you build it. The other type of person who comes to me for help knows more or less what exactly they want to build. They just need help building it because they tried building it themselves and usually they got stuck. Here's the thing. Most automations have one or two tricky components and the rest can be a lot more straightforward. So if you're stuck, it might make sense to hire someone to help you with the most basic functionalities, kind of the core of the system. And then once those tricky parts are handled, then you can actually add all the bells and whistles and extras to expand it. So this way you make a small investment up front and don't waste days and weeks trying to figure something out that maybe you don't even build optimally to begin with. But before you hire an expert, make sure you try steps one through four in this video, especially asking AI because that might be the thing that unblocks everything for you and helps you continue in building this automation. But if you do get stuck at some point, you have to think, hey, my time is better spent maybe doing some other things in my business. So let me just get a little bit of help. You can do a ton of things with make.com. And that's why when I put together this beginner tutorial, rather than showing you how to do very specific things, which may or may not be relevant to you, I thought I would teach you how to build whatever it is that you need you know, teach a man to fish, don't give a man a fish. So that's exactly what I aim to do with this tutorial. And so hopefully you found it really helpful and it's going to help you build specifically what you want. So if you got something out of this, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you want more automation and AI content, consider subscribing to the channel. Now, speaking of more automation content, I mentioned that you should get some expert blueprints. If you want to grab some of my blueprints for free, check out these two videos right here. I'll see you in there.